What's up guys, it's Kasai McCoy back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be focused on how to have your commercial space pay for itself. So this video is specifically for those people who might have a small storefront, something of that nature, photography studio, and you wanna figure out how to pay these bills. I've got you covered. It's 2022, a lot of us are still recovering from the pandemic. Throughout the time of being shut down, a lot of people got creative in using their spaces. Because we weren't in the building so much, we had to figure out how to still pay the bills. One way that you can market your space is on an app called PeerSpace. It's pretty much an Airbnb for businesses. So if you guys are familiar with the Airbnb platform, you're definitely gonna know how to work this. But I'm gonna tell you about the listing side of PeerSpace. Also in this video, I'm gonna tell you who to market to. Lastly, we're gonna get into maintenance. Let's get right into it. So, in order to market your space on PeerSpace, you need to first make an account as a host. Once you make this account, PeerSpace is gonna require you to have some professional photos up there. You don't necessarily have to have a camera for this. You can use your phone as long as you're getting some really good shots. You can even touch them up with basic editing apps and make it look really good. And if you can't handle that, you can give me a call. PeerSpace is very intense with their listing process. So you're gonna to have to go back and forth with them about the description, you wanna make it really marketable, and you also wanna include a little bit of your personality into the listing, just like Airbnb. So I have my space listed as an urban studio with ample parking. That gives a brief description of exactly what your place is. Once you've been approved to market your space, you can find out similar prices in the, in the area, you know, for places that look like yours. You really wanna be in a good price range because you want your space to get booked. I would recommend changing your pricing throughout the season. So at the time I'm recording this video, it's winter time and COVID is back on the rise. It's not really an event season, but I've taken that opportunity to lower my prices so that I can still have the space filled. Now when it reaches peak season around spring and summertime, the price is going back up. That price change is not dramatic, it's only about 10 to $15. The last thing I wanna focus on with Peer Space is the different type of listings. Although it's the same space, I have three different type of listings on PeerSpace. One is for events, I have a price for that. The second is for photo shoots and video shoots, which is labeled as media productions. And the third one is for meetings. Those all have a different price and they all have different amenities. Because I run a photography studio, it's easy for me to market to photographers. I have the equipment available and they can add on extras if needed. So another way to add income to your business is through subscriptions. You charge members a discounted rate for a set amount of time on a weekly, monthly, and recurring basis. I personally market to churches because I know I'm not gonna be doing anything with this space on Sunday mornings or Sunday afternoons. So that's the perfect time to rent the space out on a consistent basis. Marketing to churches may be the best way to push this membership plan. Churches are usually running on a Sunday morning or early afternoon. You also wanna find a platform that you can run those subscriptions on. That way you're getting automatic payments for those transactions. The last thing we're gonna focus on in this video is maintaining your space with all the rentals. One thing I'm always gonna push is organizing your calendar. Make sure that everything is in sync so that nothing overlaps. With renting the space, I would make sure to keep a good hour to two hours in between each booking so that you have enough time for the guests to clean up, put it back to how it was, and you can come in and review the space. We're gonna quickly talk about access to the space. So you want your guests to be able to get into the space without you being there because time is money. My best advice would be to find a digital keypad, a lockbox, or something of that sort, and an alarm system so that you can let the guests come right inside the building, you can view what they're doing, and you can make sure that everything is back to normal when they're done. The last thing that you need to do to run an efficient space is to hire a cleaning company. You want your space to be clean, especially in this time that we're living in. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck with renting your space.